Okay, hi, I got the request to do a video about ambient occlusion. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's basically a realistic shadow rendering in Rollercoaster Can 3 or something along the lines of that, but it basically means that your Rollercoaster Can 3 graphics are going to be amazing. And uh, this only works with Nvidia graphics cards, so I'll warn you, if you don't have one, you might as well click away because it won't work. But if you do have one, it might be very interesting to stay because ambient occlusion is amazing. Now, it's pretty simple to install this and there have been tutorials on it, but somebody requested it and I figured that it would be a good idea to share this with my subscriber base. So um, I'm going to get my link here because first of all, you're going to have to download something called NVIDIA Inspector or something like that. I think that's the name. So um, I'm just going to download that. And there we go, that's downloaded. And as you can see, there is a little .exe file in here, but it's not an install file. It's actually just a normal file that you can just, uh, well, open. So all you'll need to do is actually just extract it to some random um, place. Uh, I've already done that, so I'm just going to leave it there. So I'm going to open this, and then you'll get the NVIDIA Inspector. Now, this is a very complicated program if you don't know what you actually need to do but it's very simple all you really need to do is you go to this thing where you can um, set the profile settings and then you'll get another window and over here you can upload uh, you can open the profile of any game as you can see there are so many games in here and rollercoaster icon 3 is in there as well as well as rollercoaster icon plus and to be very honest i actually don't know the difference i only know that i have rollercoaster icon 3 plus I, it might be because um, it's with the expansion packs or because it's on Windows 64-bit. But in any case, um, you can try it on either ones. And I guess it's trial and error and, uh, to see which one actually works for you. But yeah, so as you can see, you get all of this. And this is because you can load a certain... Oh, uh, wait, I'm going to the wrong game. Stop that. Stop that. Go back to roller coasting. Okay, so there we are. And now what you'll want to do is, when you open this, and you haven't done anything, then all of these things are going to be empty. Now, you can load profiles with this, or set your own profile, but of course, um, these things are somewhat complicated. And if you don't know anything about gaming uh, graphics stuff, then it'll be hard. However, there is actually a download to standard profiles that you can get, so I'll open that one as well. And of course, I'll add the links to this in the description and you'll see these three files. Now, I'm going to extract these things to downloads, which is where I already had them. So, and then you're going to go back into the inspector and go to this button over here and import user defined profile. And then you'll find your profiles over here or whatever folder you decided to install them. And um, you're going to open either low, medium or high and as the name of them says, um, this one is just going to be somewhat low quality, this one's just going to be medium, and this one's going to be high. Now, it just depends on what uh, kind of driver you have, because, like I said, this works on any NVIDIA graphics card, but if you have a very low-end one, you're probably going to want to settle with low, but my w mine is good enough to go for high, so if you can, always go for high, because it's amazing. And then you'll see that it does all of these settings, and um, it will say, successfully imported, and you get all of this. Now the most important part of this, and actually what it's all about, is just the ambient occlusion compatibility over here. And if you click on it, you'll see that there are many games over here, and this is just what it's going to base the ambient occlusion on. And in the high profile, it's based on Fallout 3. Now I've tried some other games, and some didn't look very good, and many didn't work at all, so I'd suggest just staying with Fallout 3. I think it's a very good profile, and it just looks very good in-game. So just going to select that and if you're done with that you're just going to say apply changes and then if it all goes well then it'll actually be applied and you'll have realistic shadows in rollercoaster icon 3 and if you ever want to reset it and get rid of the ambient occlusion you can always click on this little button to reset the changes so let's open rollercoaster icon 3 and see what it looks like Okay, so here we are in Rollercoaster Icon 3, and as you might be able to tell from the shadows on the park entr entrance, uh, we've successfully installed ambient occlusion, and basically the game looks awesome as hell now. So I'm just kind of going to show what the difference is. For example, uh, it's very easy to demonstrate when you're just raising the terrain a bit. As you can see, uh, on the edges of the terrain, you're going to have this very slight, subtle shadow like that. And even though it doesn't look that big, 
it actually can make a difference, especially on buildings with pillars and all that. So yeah, that's how you get ambient occlusion and what it looks like. So hope you've enjoyed and, well, learned something from the video. And thanks for watching.